back to my channel. So today we're going to do something completely different. I wanted to try and make a kind of geo looking um, project on this record. I took off the label and I taped the back so the hole is filled up. And I'm going to use a couple of different things. So let me first show you what I'm going to be using. I'm using these bigger rocks. Then I've got this cool glass I got from the car graveyard for free. And then I've got this ultra fine one. Let me see if I can get some. Let's see. It's really fine. It's hard to show you. So, got that. Let me see. Then I think I'm going to use some titanium white from Amsterdam. I've got some pigments, some bronze and some gold blue. And I got some glitter. So, got some glitters. These are really cool. I got them from the same place I got the resin. It comes in a little box, like so. So, got a bunch of them to try out. And then, let me show you. These were the bigger ones. These are from Teddy in Germany. And this is the jar of the smaller ones. So let's um, get the resin ready. So I've got my little scale. And I've got a big cup. So this is a 3 to 1. So I'm going to need 60 grams from part A. And I'm using the laminating resin. As it has a little bit longer working time. So that's 60. Okay, put that on zero. Like so. And let's add 20 grams of the hardener. So I'm using a spoon because uh, the bottle is really hard to pour out of and I'd like to keep it a little bit safe. So a spoon works fine. And there you go, 20 grams. So let's start stirring. So it will get a little cloudy and it will turn nice and clear. Let's start a little timer, three minutes. And I'll get back to you when it's all stirred up. So when stirring, don't forget the bottom, scrape the sides, and the stick. So I'm going to put this resin, that's why I put it in a paper cup. I'm going to pour a little bit in each of these little cups. Okay, do a little bit more in these two. So I'm keeping some clear. I hope it's enough. So I have never done this before, so it's an experiment. Let's take a little bit of this blue pigment. Put it in a cup. When using resin and mica powders, please use a respirator. Wear gloves, wear safety goggles, follow the safety instructions from your manufacturer. See that was more than enough, it's really pretty. Okay, that's the blue. So I wanted to do some gold, but I couldn't find my gold. So we're going to do the bronze today. Probably way too much for 
that little cup. Look at that color. Really pretty. Let's add some white paint. I know I have to be very careful not to add too much acrylic paint. I think that should be enough. It's okay. Might need a little bit more, but I'm scared it would heat up too much. Let's do some glitter. So from the glitter, probably going to need a lot more. Even though it's a little bit, but it doesn't mix in with the resin. That's looking better. How cool is that one? So let's start by putting some clear resin. I, I have enough. I don't really have a plan. I probably would have been good to have one. I was thinking about doing a line like this. And a little blob. Okay, let's put some of the bigger rocks. I don't want to overdo it, but I also don't want to underdo it. But I think this is okay. Remember, this is my first time. Please don't judge me too harsh. Let's get some of the medium glass. Let's do a little bit of the smaller size. I think that's looking good. Let's see, I think I want to start with blue. Or the bronze, sorry. Let's do the white. Okay, let's spread some of this to the edge. Okay, let's see what happens if we put a little bit of heat on it.
Okay, let's see if we can add a little bit of the glitter. done i'm gonna leave it at this i'm really happy how it looks can't wait till it dries i'll show you the result thank you for watching bye everyone so i'm outside in the sun and I'm trying to capture the sparkle of the glitters on the resin but it's so hard to get it to look as pretty as in real life I hope you can see it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Came out perfectly fine. Love the little sparkle in between the rocks right there. It's just so pretty. All the sparkle is gorgeous. Can't wait to do it again.